Wow. All right. So. Good night. Good night, everybody. Um, Good night. Nice one. So we have Ravi. Ramdan is watching. Burindra Basan from Oxford on Uli tonight. Very good. Um, Brendan Daniel Dillon. Welcome. Good night. Good night to Dillon from Merry Boys. How is everybody to be after that torrential rainfall for the entire day? How is everybody? <coughs> Primchan Ramdat. Boon. Welcome, Boone. Nice to see you on. Right, so good night, everybody, and welcome to um, I believe it's like episode seven of our preview show, Part in your crease preview show. Ram is looking a bit confused. I have no idea what, how we why. Mm. I don't know. I just I just watching some man. Just watching some man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good man. Um are you watching which one are the you watching the highlights from the England New Zealand game or you watching the highlights from the West Indies Netherlands game? Which one are you really watching there? Well, uh, just before I come on I was watching um England New Zealand highlights and and I'll take in the West Indies um Netherlands I like this so mm-hmm. yeah, hell no way hell no hell no they're good, they're good. well it's cricket going on and internationally you know, so you know I'll be following it too yeah the England um New Zealand test match look real real excitement 17 wickets of ball ball swinging like wow yeah, I didn't get a chance to watch the highlights here, but yes, I was following the scores through the day and I saw New Zealand, New Zealand batting 39 for 6 and they ended up, you know, making 132. And then, well, England was batting, had a 50 year opening partnership, and then they say, well, things are looking all right, but then that collapsed to 116 for 7. Mm-hmm. Interesting stuff. Benjamin Fuchs had the wicket. Benjamin Fuchs. Yeah, yeah. And then West Indies and all was in a little trouble. 99 for 5 against Netherlands. But um, Brandon King is in some form. And, and, well, you can see the debutant second game under his belt. He didn't bat for his game. Um, Casey, Casey. Casey Carty, man. The guy from St. Martin. He had a brilliant knock here on Brandon King, man. So, good stuff I going see. on there. Yeah. And see some people calling for who are to, to take a five from cricket a bit and reassess his 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 game with all his T twenty and T ten playing. People calling for email. <laughs> you see uh second game already at the season, I mean at the at the series and people calling for email. I think okay, give him some time, give him some time, yeah well you know a little adjustment they make. Um but it, it, it's something to, to to think about they need to get themselves more involved in the red ball cricket the longer formal cricket so they could have you know composure and decrease 50 overs there's plenty of us there but um so i mean not every ball you had to go um you know this expansive drive and hitting all these big shots i mean all the time so it's just a, it's a, a little patience a little environment mr mckell yeah, Mr. Mikel, welcome, man. Paul Mikel, my former co-worker there. Thanks for joining, man. So, um, yeah, that was just a little highlight, a little recap of 
into an optimal cricket going on at the moment. So I guess we could jump in into what one little cricket now. And let me get this thing going. Um, yeah. Yeah, before before we start, yeah, I just want to mention a couple of things though. Um and I'll probably mention it later on and all during the show as well. Um first things we just have a couple of announcements. Um so the Oxford team um asked that if we could uh mention it on our live and I see we have a, a good bit of viewers on tonight there. Yeah. So Mr. Ratchet, good night and welcome again. Um what the first announcement is that uh, the Oxford team will be having a a family day. Um you know a fun and family day at their ground in Legion. Uh this will be held on Father's Day the nineteenth of June. Uh so all teams and viewers, you all are welcome to uh visit the Oxford home ground in Legion over there and um, you know be part of this event with them and um, celebrate Father's Day with them they are down there as well. Um so they're inviting all teams and viewers um to their event Father's Day 19th of June Legion Road. That's one. Uh secondly the that club also uh they would be having um a raffle and barbecue to raise funds and um they would be raising funds to um complete the bleachers or um you know makeshift pavilion there as well as construct a um washroom facility right uh, this is one of the grounds that is not under the regional corporation so they are just trying to help themselves there and and get the grounds to a certain standard um we all know that when you visit legion the village come out the community um so uh, there's be a nice crowd down there in legion road supporting oxford as well as anybody visiting there has been nice atmosphere so they're just trying to prepare the ground um as i said we have to do it themselves unfortunately so support the cause support the cause man oxford team alex oxford they will be having a raffle and barbecue so um i told them once they have the deeds and thing and, and stuff um share it with us we will post it on our facebook page so look out for it and um also the family day on the 19th of june oxford ground they'll have an event there um so yeah patronize support and um you know, let's all jump in and, and help them out in whatever way we could. Um, you know, at the beginning of the season, I, I was mentioning to all the teams, I say, we're not going to depend on any corporation or any government, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to do it ourselves. So, if you want to, if you want to assist in any way or contribute in any way, um, you could feel free to reach out to us or if Avinash is here, you can feel free to share his contact information. And um, you know, if if he wants, I could also share it on the live here tonight. Later on, I'll probably post it up so you all could have it there. Uh, you can feel free to contact him for any um if you all feel into if you all were, are willing to donate to to help all the cause in any way, right? And last but not least, uh, we have to mention our sponsors um heroes pharmacy um you know they are here from uh day one heroes pharmacy that located on high street europe Lara, opposite uh white diamonds there right great avinash baksh is on and um yeah he shared his contact in the, in the comments so anybody who want to help contribute as i said they are the team and the village are going to construct their own bleachers as well as a washroom facility themselves and um you know they're trying to raise funds as well as accept any donations yeah. to, okay to, um there to help out the, the community there and uh, they will have a fundraiser event and stuff like that so yeah back to sponsors here is pharmacy there um secondly uh SNS Passat, one of our main sponsors um worldwide inspection and technologies limited also located on the tabaki road um they are part sponsors and last but not least we had uh massey foundation massey foundation you know has been 
um, supported me throughout the years and he have jumped on board as well um, helping us in this um, league as well so um, yeah thank you to all the sponsors Massey Foundation and the all the rest of and 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 them as well right anything you want to share almost before we get into it no I don't, don't really have nothing to add yet I believe you cover all the, the little announcements the little stuff that I need to cover so far if anything comes in in the course of the night I'll rush it yeah yeah so um yeah yeah what I'll do I'll, I'll probably um I'll, I'll probably uh, during the probably the mid before we get into the wrong four or something like that we can um, we can um, share we can share it over again you know for new viewers whoever coming on and stuff like that we'll share it back again so um yeah guys just go to the comments Avinash Babs from Oxford um he shared us his, his contact information there and as I said let's help each other man let's come over there and help out and stuff like that and if you want any information i've been asking myself feel free to reach out to us and and let's get this thing done right mr ramdani nice to see you a long time man i haven't seen you in a while mr ramdani is from st john maples great so without any further ado i mean let me just ask everyone here again how was all the day with all this rain boy feel free to share it in the comments like and share the life um, but today was a lot of rainfall, but I know it was expected because they say the tropical wave number four was passing through. It will be affecting us from today into tomorrow and a real rain whole day. So why are we hoping for fingers crossed that we could um, get some cricket this weekend. The grounds and them could be um, in some state of fitness to play the cricket. Um, it's looking too promising at the moment, but as I said, you can only hope for the best, man. Probably after lunch tomorrow, the weather clear up, we get some hot sun into Saturday, Sunday, and stuff like that. Ramos, you feel so? What do you think? Sun? Rain? Yeah, but more, rain? more rain? <coughs> well, I want to say sun, eh? I really want to say sun, Saturday, sun, Sunday, whole day. Sun from tomorrow evening, going into Saturday, going into Sunday. You know, I'll keep saying sun, but um, you never know. They say we having some adverse weather from today on to tomorrow evening, two o'clock. I don't know if if that will continue, but um, hopefully we'll see how it goes. I know some of the some of the grounds, um, even though the rain does fall, like those matter no kit and thing, might be able to get if the rain is up. But you had to see how it goes. You had to see how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as I see, we have some blockbuster matches this weekend here. Um, well, um first up Saturday, uh, have the Budwin Lions versus St. John Maples. Um, that game would be played, um, at St. John Maples, um, Saturday. Um, so uh yeah continue to what t20 tournament there the Tuvas has finished um congrats to oxford again on taking the title um so we move straight into well just into the t20 from now onwards libertville lions and john meeples um i mean libertville lions had a little um a little hiccup in the t overs there and we don't know how we're going to affect them mentally into you know if they have a, a dipping confidence considering they're coming out a, a con well a loss a heavy loss you could see a disappointing loss because you know if they didn't win that game they could have won the league um and then they're coming up against St. John Meeples as well I think uh they, who have lost their two games as well and struggling for a little confidence so two teams on the you could probably say right there um the Budville got the better of them in the titty overs though um so how do you think this how do you think it, 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 it will play off this time around <coughs> well i feel like tonight is a good night to do some predictions and Prediction. i've been i've been kind of out of it with the whole predicting thing you know i, I honestly um, i give myself a lot of rest because most of the time i was getting it wrong so i say here we're going on let me stop with this prediction thing 
So with right. that break, just like how people call them for poor and to take a break, I give the predictions a break, so I'll resume mm-hmm. that tonight. But Good. um so I, have, I, so I have yeah. I have a I have a paper and I have a pencil. So everybody who wants to give predictions, right? Um I'll share um, I'll share the, the fixtures. I'll share the fixtures. Uh, so you'll see you'll see the four games for Saturday and you could post Saturday um predictions here and you know how we just do it the winner get we will still continue with our six pack yeah our six pack somebody could drink something yeah so um Levertville St. John as you see um um as I just confirmed the venue St. John um I know the the the, the crowd down here is, is very adamant you know as you will see St. John crowd these people come out and they behind the team a lot but having said that you know Levertville got the edge against St. John at that same venue well early in the tournament I believe these guys played and sometime high up in, the, in game three or something like that so it was yeah. very early for these guys to um, before yeah um you know to get our victory right but um as we all know you know since family to be over we have seen you know in the backing of the road, well, Marius, um, Marius, I think, is the, the, danger, the danger man in, in that team, you know. Mm-hmm. But, um, being said that we've seen, you know, other players stepping up and, and putting their hand up in, in the backing department, they see. Well, I know that the wicket keeper got, got a little score under his belt, so maybe he'll be going into his game in a bit of form. We've seen Chase getting a, a 70 odd, um, recently. So, you know, these guys are, are, are there, they are there within the runs recently. So, we'll see how they would play on a, on a, a match. I know these two guys got runs together at, at 70 yards, both Mario Sanchez on a previous match in wicket. So, maybe, you know, these guys like the ball coming onto the bat. You know, I, I think it'll be a, 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 a high scoring game because right. St. John is no slow to the bat as well. These guys have. Men who could hit the ball real clean, Adi Shampasad and and the other opener and Jesse Nine Singh, these, these fellas and them strong, strong fellas. I don't know what they eaten down there, but strong mm-hmm. fellas. And also the bowling it'd it be interesting because um I know they mentioned Levertville having some young bowlers, you know, Matthew Maraj and Dion Naipaul and these fellas stepping up, you know, these fellas they seen these fellas amongst the wickets. These get fellas bowling. The last over and, and having, having to defend on that real pressure and coming trumps. And also right. seeing John having guys like Sean Ram Nine, young mm-hmm. bowler bowling excellent. So it'll be a, a treat to watch with the fans. First to begin with, it'll be a treat to watch with the fans. But well, going into this game with two wins from two games, seeing John going in this game with zero wins from zero games, seeing John mm-hmm. might be fighting this game a little more hard than Levertville. Levertville might go. And I know Levertville always, you know, they want to win everything. They want to win all the games, just like every other team. But um, both teams, I think, will have a game plan. But, you know, I have to give St. John the edge. I think St. John will take this game come Saturday. Yeah, that is my yeah. prediction. All right. Yeah, good, good, man. Well, um, as I say, seeing St. John already not off to a good start in the 20 they will be coming out to fight hard. And and how Liverpool got the better of them in, in, in the city of I think they're looking for a little bit of revenge. So it's going to be, uh, it, we know Liverpool not going to just play there and all over. They're going to come out fighting as well. Um, but we know, as I say, how Ali Shampa said, if he get off the mark, if Jesse get off the mark, if um, Blocko, that's what we know, he must get off the mark, you know, these guys could be dangerous. You know, and, that's how Liverpool are going to cope with these big hitters. And I know they have some problems coping with Mary Boy's big hitters um, on Monday. So, <sighs> it's going to be good. Um, I know Robin, Robin Ram, Ramdan, wasn't, he didn't play that game, the first game. He should be back. So, he will be strengthening up the bowler. I think Chase played in that game in the first rounds and all. And with Titeo, so, if Chase is available this Saturday, um, you know, all these guys would be there to strengthen it up for the number well, so. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting stuff, man. 
right so as you see the fixtures is up there all you feel free to, to comment and, and post all the predictions or you could post all the four one time so we'll get it in one and um we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes from there so ramos is st john i can't go against liverpool i gotta see liverpool so we got to disagree on that one day but we will do anyhow moving on moving on nicely nicely we have worldwide this is a skillful superstar right he's trying to you're trying to bite your lip you're trying to do what kind of thing there you're sharp enough for the discuss this one boy how are you saying right how are you saying yeah this is for all the viewers as well as the host you see that yeah. game coming up on round three worldwide yeah. 11 skillful and boost yeah skill beat worldwide uh, so we come in and beat worldwide on the third the reason why right. i say that is because I was confident the last time both teams met, you know, Skillful was a bit confident, you know. Um, I would say they were thinking about that upset because, you know, Skillful beat worldwide in the t it would have been considered an upset. So yeah. um, they would have been, you know, confident of winning. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Worldwide won that game, but, you know, from the button of worldwide, they won that pressure from ball mm -hmm. one. These right. guys won the pressure. You know, the big scorers didn't come to the free, to the throw. You know, Alex Ramland, these guys didn't come to the throw. Mm -hmm. But we know the, the, the depth of batting that Worldwide has. You know, right. we know the caliber of players these guys are. The bowlers, they, they bowl excellent. You know, Ronnie Samuel and Antonio Edwards and, and Sati Suku and these guys. These guys are good, good players. You know, but there's something about, there's something about Gain these guys to chew these guys off track. You know, it's something about gaining these men in them head. And son, I, I realized Narish was a bit new for you know the uh, son Narish Narish. Um, I forget his last name, but Narish. Narish very, Singh. very new of us. Narish yeah, Singh, yeah. very new of us. These guys started getting new of us, Ronnie Sam. Like, these guys started getting new of us. So, you know, maybe, maybe we could be uh, having an upset. And in my view, I think we would have an upset because, you know, Skillful will be strengthening up their team come Saturday with the in the mm -hmm. you know the, the inclusion of Chair and Azama and Kyle Khan. You know, these two guys are uh, good guys, good players, you know, they haven't clicked yet, but you know, two good batsmen, if they happen to score some runs and, and get the score up to let's say a one thirty, one forty, mm -hmm. then it could be a whole different ball game. You understand? Right. So skillful skipper has been amongst the wickets. A lot of wickets he's been getting, but they were just missing a few key bowlers. So we'll see, we'll see. But I, I think skillful will take this one. I think so. So let me just say good night to, to Sheldon. Sheldon um Ram Harak. You know, thanks for joining in. Then we have um Nari Singh when Nari Singh now joining in there as well. Um Dina. The nice one watching, yeah. So, um, Narish is in the comments here and he's telling you like he feel like he's smoking. I don't know what exactly, you know, but um, it's a brief call to come out and see what you now see, right? Um, but just a touch on, uh, I see Mr. Ramdani here say good predictions, so uh, he was probably referring to what your last prediction. But then Cleveland also said there that you know Ramos' prediction is almost always the opposite. So Mr. Ramdani, he predicts in Jordan, and then if you go in and be opposite, it's are looking too good enough. So I don't know. But anyhow, back to Worldwide, um, who is a skillful. Last game it was close. A little more runs on the board and and, and skillful could have worldwide in some trouble. Then eh? a little more runs. Yeah, the score was was eighty seven or eighty three. Skillful mm -hmm. make and mm -hmm. worldwide was our seven wickets chasing on that um a minor score. Right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So once you were that hole up. You know, the, the wicket might be a little moist considering the rain and thing. Um, you know, Cleveland's is skillful going on take it Saturday. Um, so we don't know. 
Cleveland say, uh, Cleveland, how you, how you, how you bowling going these days? Um, you know, Cleveland had a little pointers and thing there, and he tell me feeling a little much more comfortable, more control the ball and things. So, I mean, Cleveland could be a little more dangerous now. We might have to watch out, but how are they going to get the better? Ronnie, Diraj, um, Latman. Yeah, how, how, how are they going on? Alex, Alex well, wants Alex going to score, Alex wants to score next 100 and get team over the line. Where, well, how if, I, if I could clearly remember, you know, um, Mr. Ramlal, you know, was facing Cleveland and the sound from the far end, you know, and the ball w was swinging and he mm. got a bull nick and it was a brilliant catch at slip. And the oh. I don't know if it have a prize. I don't know if it have a prize nominated for the for one of the best catches, but it was a spectacular catch. You understand? And after that, the you know the energy of skillful was just up after that. It probably like I was, was one or two wickets down, and then the energy was just there, and these guys started to crack under pressure. Big Narish thing. He didn't look too. He had all those muscles, and he didn't look too promising. You understand? So we'd see, we'd see, we would see. Alex is saving now. Alex coming out hard for Liverpool and Alex is saving now and just against Liverpool. Hmm. Do do save it, do save it. If you gate against skillful, you had to deal with them, you had to deal with them. Uh, you understand? Yeah, Josiah say hundred nothing. Wow. Wow. Right, right. So um all they are predicting nothing, man. Yes, you know, but if the four games up there, let's send you know, the four predictions one time, you know, man, let's see what's going on. But anyhow, um, yeah, 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 worldwide, after coming on that t t t uh, the t t US tournament, whoa, wow, yeah, um, I think worldwide, worldwide wants to just dominate and, and win all this thing, but we know worldwide like to win, by um, so, but, we know Antonio Ed was bowling good, so I'll have to watch out for that too. Alex, Narish, the button, the button. So, Alex is at advantage against Skillful by the well, boy. It was real showdown on Saturday. Yeah, 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 Alex. It was real showdown the last, a real advantage last time we played. But, you know, it, 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 nevertheless, nevertheless, we shall move on. You know, the young, the young. Inexperienced, skillful, you know, the 17 and 16 year olds had worldwide about the truth, but nevertheless, we shall move on. We shall move on. We shall move on. And now we shall move on. Nice. I see, I see in Dillon saying he four, right? Dillon, with all your respect, if you win this thing, right? Me, if you last six pack will be enough for you, you know. We got a crazy price for you, right? I like, I like, I like them predictions. I, I, I don't know. I just like, I like them predictions. I like them predictions. Man says St. John. All right, in the dunk. St. John. Skillful. Wow, he going brave again with that, with that call, boy. Skillful. Merry boys and new lands. But what I seen, what I seen here, man. Yeah. Me and, me and Brendan can call you see him predictions, right? You wicked or... I gotta change what? it up. Yeah, you know, this man gotta force me to change it up, right? It has Sunday too, you know. It has Sunday. So if all of get the same thing correct here, yeah, and then it has Sunday too. Somebody might get wrong, one wrong. Now if two all you if two all you pretty the same thing for Sunday, when and you know things look good. The sponsor mm -hmm. might the sponsor might throw it all for two all you too, man. Small things, small things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see no more, see no more. It's not Dylan. Brendan Daniel. Who won that Brendan Daniel? The Dylan brother? Anyhow, we can get to that. Alex, you read my CV, whatever. Well, boys, we hope for no rain, but we hope for some nice weather this weekend. Brendan Daniel is Dylan brother. No problem. Small thing. Same piece, same, same, same arm, same Daniel, same family. Damn. One thing, one thing I like, one thing I like about um worldwide, you know um and and I sure is 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 the case with with all the other teams, 
you know, before the game, you know, it had a little banter. During the game, I had a little, a little banter. These guys played cricket hard. But after, you know, you could just go and just laugh it off. Regardless of the results, you know, that kind of camaraderie and thing, you just see that with, with, with worldwide <laughs> and just all the other teams, which is, you know, excellent, top class, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we just have all the fun and jokes and, and little discussions on the on the little chat and thing here and, you know, but at the end of the day when we meet up on the field or even after the game, everybody showing the, the love, man, the one love, everybody mm-hmm. living. Yeah, 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 it'd be a nice vibes. Very nice vibes, everybody still keeping it, you know, sportsmanship, discipline, high level, as I was explaining. Uh, probably you know this tournament we haven't had any conflicts between teams or players or anything normally uh, in the past you see players arguing against each other and all kind of thing a teams want to you know we just see that so far in this league nobody arguing against each other if there's anything the two teams might argue against the umpire for the like, worst case scenario but not against each other so that's good stuff so we have prior predictions for saturday we have the lunch brother predictions for Saturday, and I only have Mr. Ram Danny one game prediction, right? So, anyhow, moving on to game three Mary Boys versus Riverside. Hey, we know Mary Boys right now on a high. Mary Boys on a high right now. I don't think, I mean, the last couple of T20 games and that 30 overs games, it's hard to stop Mary Boys right now. If I could probably show it on it, then it's probably the team to beat at the moment. The playing good cricket. Right? Riverside still a little up and down. This game will be played in Blood Road though, because of the availability of grounds and stuff like that. Once the ground is fit, it will be played in Blood Road on Saturday. So there's a ground on the smaller side. And we know Mary Boys have the big hitters. So, um, but then we know Riverside, Riverside bowling. We had the two young guys on, on top, Aiden Racha, and then we have Dinesh Balkaram. Dinesh has been amongst the top wicket takers at the moment. So, if Dinesh and Aiden Racha could run into Mary Boys and take out the top order, it could be an interesting game. But then uh, Mary Boys are real batting. Mary Boys are real batting. Ronald Guerra and Dillon and them coming in six, seven, eight. And then some of the key players in play on Sun on Monday with Edward and and Chase and those guys. So hey. Things could heat up that on that game. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, as I say, my boys had a had a, had a upward movement. You know, when it comes to winning, these guys can't seem to, to drop points. These guys can't seem to lose a game right now. And, and, you know, they have the momentum right now. As I said, they are the team to beat. You know, they're coming up against Riverside. You know, it, it, if the game was being played in Eckersville, I would have mm-hmm. to say my boys go dismantle Riverside yeah, in Eckersville. Yeah. However... Seeing that the game has been playing in Blood Road, you know, I still think Mary Boys have the edge, you know, to, to, to win this game because of that upward chain and also because of Momentum some of the players stuff. in form. So, like, you see, some of the players in the 20 so far, they are in open form. You know, you mentioned our guys going yeah. 100. Whether or not to be the 30 overs or not, but coming to the back yeah, end yeah. Sure. and entering the 20, yeah, and then sure. scoring 60 yeah. shots. So that mm-hmm. guy in some in some ripping form and also Sorry. they have um Troy so Gera. They have Gera, they have Delon at the top there, the opener mm-hmm. by Bestna, these guys. Mm-hmm. Like, Barry hitting the ball, Barry hitting the ball hard by clean and hard. Yeah, so you know the game playing in Glad Road, I think Riverside needs to come with their best game to I would say I I, I mean it's harsh to say this, but they have to have the they need to bring their best game to, to win this game. You know, and we've seen Kim Abdul, he's he's a guy, you know, he could hit the ball very far. You know, he, he got some scores on his belt. 
you know, he opened the batting. I hope he could, you know, get some runs yeah. on this. But also, Lennon Luke, Lennon Luke, but really smart. You know, he knocks it around, and, and when it's yet a hit, he goes after it. And more often than not, he gets through. But it's just a matter of being in form, you know. And mm-hmm. also, they have Lorenzo King. I, I know Lorenzo. Real good, Lorenzo. Play T10, and, and this, this man can smash it far. He can hit the ball. He can hit the ball real clean. You know, mm-hmm. just he haven't been able to find his form for the finds his form. We need to win the game. We need to find his form against Mary Boys, the team dominating right now. So once these guys find form, I think it will be a good game. Once these guys come to the party, I think they would give Mary Boys a run for their money. But I think I have to go with Mary Boys on winning this. Have to. Right. Yeah, Based yeah, on yeah. recent form, I have to get them, get them this game. Yeah. Yeah. So, boy, as I say, Rishma, I forget. Uh, Rish, I said my mind about what I was Yeah, yeah. yeah. As I say, I mean, we, when we, 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 the opposite of this probably this season when Newlands went down there and we thought Newlands would have taken them and then, you know, big victory by Riverside to take out Newlands. So, a big cycle go down there and see some strain. Yeah. Yeah. Avinash, Avinash Ramrup, right? I'll have your predictions here. Lachman Suku is watching. So welcome. Welcome. Avinash Ramrup. Great. Yeah. So let me go to the last game. This is probably the biggest game for the weekend. Biggest game for the weekend. Yeah. Oxford meets up Newlands. And we were not talking about Oxford. Um, you know, we need the TTT, the TTT overs competition, eh? and yeah, they're on a high too. They're on a high too, and then they have the plane in the home ground, they're familiar with the conditions. And then Lal Shan and Salim and them hitting the ball. So, and then they had Django and Shaquille Simmons to run in and bowl. How you think Newlands could stop Oxford in the gym? I you may hear your first. How you feel if it stop them? All right. So, 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 so. You see, I don't, I don't really want to give all the secret and that because I honestly think we have you, the secret on how to, how, you, how to you, restrict. You don't have to, to give I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say, but we had the secret on how to restrict Oxford. Right. You don't have to give out your secret. How do you think Newlands could restrict them? Maybe uh, that just on that perspective all right first to begin with mm-hmm. first, first, first and foremost newlands walk with real plenty ball walk with a box two box three box a ball because these fellas and them just hit the ball inside the RV. i don't know why they don't hit it over the RV, you know before the RV, they turn it in the RV, right? right secondly i think they need to to, to get rid if they if they in the button of of Oxford, i think they need to get the the man they call Lal Chan early, you know, Lal Chan and his brother as well, and also um, Salem. Salem, these three men, mm-hmm. they need to get them early, right? So all they had to do is just plan for these men, right? Not saying they, need, they don't need to plan for the other batsmen, but I think, you know, they would be planning for these men because they would have seen them in different games being played against each other, they would have their plans towards them because these three men are the, I think, the main batsmen who are in form and who one of them not really in form yet, but once you get in form, you know, you can take away the game from them as well. So I think restricting these three men, um, you would cripple them and you need to get them real early. You need to have them like 10 for 4 or something or mm. 11 for 5. And then, well, you know, you could deal with them properly. You understand? Um, but, you know, different conditions. The last time these two played was in Newlands and <coughs> Oxford went up the end, and I believe they won that game. But um, different conditions, they come in, they leave in, um, they, well, they leave in a turf up there. They come down in the next two. You know, the, bo- the, the pitch seems to be assistant on the bowlers. So that was something to look forward to for the new land bowlers, you know. But also, uh, the ground is slightly on the smaller side, 
Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, although the ground assists the bowlers, sometimes the top edge and, and the little um, fortuitous bong Jesus come, you understand? Mm -hmm. And that, that sometimes then your confidence a bit. So, you um, from, you learned that word from Badri, boy. O, o yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but any, uh, but any, <laughs> yeah, but as I say, just get them early, just get them early, and, and you never know. But with Oxford mm -hmm. now, these fellas and them, you know, if they get any little breathing room, besides getting these three men, little breathing room, you know, the men like French Abbasant and, and Chang and, and even um, Ram Kisun, these fellas and them could, could eat away the runs as well. These fellas could easily take the score from 12 for 5 to 147 for 8. After mm -hmm. 20, and then it becomes a whole different ball game because they take the score and they take the momentum with them. You know, they get extra confidence with that, that the tailwind wag or something like that. And, you know, they come out and have new lands on the back foot. So, but um, I will have to say, you know, Oxford played at home. I've seen them in their home ground. Have mm -hmm. to give up to this one. Have to. Have to. Yeah, have to give up to it's going to be hard for Newlands, boy. And um, the last you played Newlands, uh, they, they need to, to, to really, um, you know, have a, have a game plan. And, 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 and Brandon Faria, especially, probably need to bat higher up the order. Um, you know, but Simba, we know, we know Simba, Willis Pegas, who is Willis Pegas, Alexo Pegas, all these guys. Once they're available on the day, um, they need to carry the mantle or the baton. And um, you know, there are some good little bowlers in between there. Brandon Faria opened the bowling, Wendell Lal, uh, Sheldon, there are some good spinners. Um, this little young guy, he's 16 years of age. I really can't remember his first name. I know his last name is Saga. 16 years of age, he's bowling some nice little medium pace. Then he are, he, um, Rogers, nice, decent left hander. He have a nice run up approach, he decrease. You know, um, Rogers is his last name. Uh, Lefanda, medium pizza as well there. So, I mean, I mean, these guys could, could get some trouble on that because they have a, a wide variety of bowling. Um, and um, I don't mean bowling wide ball. I mean, I, I genuinely mean wide variety of of, um, of bowling options. And, they, and, and, and they, could, they could prove to be a handful once they, you know, they get there. So, um... I mean, a, a tight game, boy. Tight game. Uh, the edge probably with Oxford, seeing that they, they won in it to do was, and now they're playing at home. So, interesting game there. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, so, anybody are going to switch switch the fixtures now to some the fixtures. So, if you all still want to predict, feel free to take a picture or a screenshot and you can still send it in. I'll give you all a couple of minutes there, a minute at least, to just screenshot it. Um, because I'm gonna switch it now. So anybody who want to predict this could screenshot it and send me predictions probably a little later. Um so yeah, so while we waiting on that and we switching up again, I'll just go through the anno announcements again. Um one of the announcements is scrolling across the bottom there. Oxford is having a, a raffle and barbecue coming up. And um they are trying to raise funds to construct a bleachers and washroom facility. So this ground is not under the care of the regional corporation. So they're doing it themselves, right? And, you know, any contribution, donation, um, assistance, whether, you know, physically, financially, anything could go a long way. Um, you know, they just want to get their ground up to a standard so they could be able to host teams comfortably. Um, so, yeah, that's coming up. Um, Abinash will share details or you can feel free to contact him. Uh, his number is there. Um, Abinash Baksh, he's the captain as well as the manager for the club at the moment. Um, and then also Oxford will be having a fun and family um, day on Father's Day, Sunday the 19th of June. And they are inviting everybody to come on down to Legion Road to, you know, be a part of it. You know, there'll be drinks and food on sale, fun activities, etc. 
So, you know, if you're looking for a little event, you're looking for a little event on Father's Day, you know, after your little, um, your own family event, and then you could feel free to pass down in Legion every day. It will have eats, drinks, music, etc. And, um, yeah, have a, have a time, man. Have a time with the Oxford family. Um, down in Legion Road. And then, last but not least, sponsors. Our sponsors, Heroes Pharmacy, SNS Passade, Worldwide Inspection and Technologies Limited. And last but not least, Massey Foundation, one of our main sponsors at the moment, together with SNS. Massey Foundation. So, you all feel free to visit their Facebook pages, like it, share it. You know, they are the ones that made this league happen. And um, it's our first day. And we would only learn, grow, and make it better for next year. Bigger and better. Right? So good. I guess everybody would have enough time to screenshot these fixtures. I'm going to switch it now. Switch it up to... Right? Round four. Yeah, round four. You know, we see <coughs> one of the game one show. We have Oxford, you know, T30 defending champions, or T30 current champions, as you say, coming up against St. John Maples in Legion. You know? So, again, St. John walk at all your ball, walk at about three walks of ball just to be sure. Mm -hmm. she walks about just to be sure she walks about to be sure but um i think this would be a, a, a interesting thing because of seeing john playing away from home you know went down to oxford for the first time you know they would be a little wary oh, about the pitch you know they will have to see what the pitch is doing you know um it would be interesting to see if they win the toss, what they would do on, on a pitch like that because, it, as I say, it assists any bowlers. You know, mm -hmm. um, Oxford again playing at home. We all know what Oxford could do in their home ground. Um, but it would be a good game. I think, I think St. John, um, if, you know, I had to say if, because a prediction I made for Saturday, if, St. John could, could could win the game on Saturday, then they would give Oxford a bigger fight, I think, Sunday. Because they would be very, very confident having won uh, the first game in the T20 on Saturday coming into Sunday against Oxford. So, I think they would be a more dangerous unit to face come Sunday. But... I think they would have they would be a good game because they are poor hitters on both teams. They are good bowlers on both teams. You know, uh, basically an even match contest. However, St. John would have in the back of their mind that when these two teams met, a guy by the name of Lal Chanram that's going a massive 176. Blue which him out. is Real Carnage. If mm -hmm. you score 176 and a 50 overs, or even a 40 overs, or a 20 overs, that is carnage. So they would have that in the back of their minds. They'd be mm -hmm. interested to see the plans they would have against him, you know. But again, Oxford at home, I have to give Oxford the win. So I've seen Oxford will win this game. You know? Right, right, yeah, well, yeah. Oxford versus St. John. I mean, right now, I think St. John, in my opinion, their strength is their button right now. And their button not clicking. I mean, the first two games, they get ball off for 140, 150 already. Um, and a T20 competition on these smaller grounds in the league, uh, 140, 150, it's hard to defend. Right? So, um, I think they had to step up. The, the, the button had to come. The button had to come good against Oxford. And um, we know it's not going to be easy because of Oxford bowling. Um, you know, and then Sean, probably Sean, they're one of their star bowlers at the moment. He had to come good and all and try and take some busy wickets there to, for them to to have a, a you know, a fighting effort in, in, in the gym. So, um, 
we 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 fed up just cause Oxford. We know everything about Oxford. You know, Prim Chan, La Chan, Ram. You know, Shaquille Simmons, everybody there already. So, uh, like I say, Saint John, Button, had to come good to get them a fight. So, I guess my little take on it. Oxford had the edge right now because like I say they, they, they between them and Mary Boys, they team to beat. Most con two are the more consistent teams at the moment. So. Walk with balls, Ramosi. Walk with all the ball. Walk with ball. But at the end of the day, if all the, if all the um, bowling good, then you know you don't need to walk with all them, you know. So anyhow, anyhow nicely. So big, we're moving on to the to the game, other our game. Our next big game. Our next big game. Worldwide versus Newlands. Um, big, big. This year, just playing them booze. I know last time worldwide in the 30 overs, they went up into Newlands there, and um, you know, the Newlands was victorious in that game. Now it's a reverse fix there in the T20 coming down to booze. Um, yeah, I mean, on a slow track, uh, the same to wicket, but you know, compared to the Newlands, wicket it could be a little slower, so that make the adjustments. Um, so. What do you think? What do you think? Well, firstly, I think this game will be uh, a low scoring game. Right. Given that the wicket plays. <sighs> I think the wicket assists a lot of bowlers, you know, with the slowness yeah. of it and, and the ball rolling up. You know, mm -hmm. I think if you're bowling in the right areas and if you put it, you put the team, whichever team playing on the day, you put the team under have some pressure, you know, yeah. you can add that balls in. Force them to make a mistake. As soon as I don't know which one to go forward at to play back at, you know, you could be in some problems. I think that would be the case because you know we have some good bowlers, same as Newlands. We all know mm -hmm. both teams have depth in the button, but I think it would be a bowl and wicket, a low score. Um, I given I given Newlands the edge on this one. I given Newlands the edge on this one. You know, I've seen their bowlers, you know, their, their, their spinners. I believe his name is Grant. You know, I'm not too sure if he played against, against you know, most of the games, but um, I believe Grant, Matthew Grant, I believe his name is, or Michael Grant. He was bowling some good off spin. You know, the ball was mm -hmm. turning up on in New Right. It'd be interesting to see how he goes. I think he might be the danger man. Predicting that if he plays, you know, and he gets up to the bowl in Newlands, I think he'll be amongst the wickets. So right. I had a game with Newlands here. I know, I know worldwide will be fighting many comments and they tell him how skillful I win a game and how I could predict when I game first. You know, you got to understand too. I am the host. I, I just making predictions, you know. Yes, I play not skillful, but I'm making predictions. Yeah, when I game it. I know they're ponging me, but oh gosh, oh gosh, give me a chance now. Oh, oh, I'm blowing. Oh, Low him. Well, when, to now. If they do win a game, well, boy, that might be like the win the finals. I see in two. Yeah. If one, see some neighbor G right. When, when did we, you know, if they do win a game, that like the win the finals, they're going to hear the next show all, we have. All I had to say, yeah, what I had to say. Mm -hmm. When we do win a game, the team that we beat, a little hide, eh? Just hide. Just hide. Just hide. Just hide. Just hide. Hide, hide, hide. But make sure you come on the live, eh? Come on the live Tuesdays and Thursdays, but just hide. Overall, just hide. Be yeah, here, but stay, hide. Stay quiet. Yeah. But right. yeah, I think um, you will have to take this one. Yeah, yeah, I mean, as I say, bye. Um, Sunday, Sunday, worldwide, nourishing. That hard fight for Newlands. I gotta get worldwide, boy. I gotta go with worldwide. I feel, boy. I, I say, Alex, everybody too. Still right now, everybody, you know, to win um, Newlands on the road. You know, up in Newlands, it is a strong team. On the road, they have to prove themselves still. And I think they're going to be a little shaky against this worldwide team in, in booth. Um, so we can see how it goes. But uh, worldwide might have the edge, boy. I feel so. Worldwide. Anyhow, moving on now. Fifteen. What to Riverside was a skillful boy. This was a clash last in the thirty overs. These two teams were, 
They didn't win a game yet. And these two teams were battling to see who would have won their first game. Riverside took the took the honors there. So I was skillful going back for a little revenge day Sunday in Ramos. Yeah, um well I think one thing Skillful could be proud of, you know, playing against Riverside was that they managed to get the highest score so far in the tournament against them. One ninety five. It was on the losing side. You know, mm. but they would be proud of facing against Riverside Bowling. However, Riverside will be itching to go against Skillful Bowling as well because these guys scored in, in excess of two thirty. Right? Mm. So mm. I think it'll be an interesting clash, you know, playing at Godwood again. It'll be interesting to see how skillful, you know, the, the, the formation of the team, as I say. You know, mm. some of the, the guys who play in the team was coming back into the team um, on Saturday and Sunday. So it'd be, it'd be interesting to see how strong the bowling is to counteract the hard hitting prowess, I should say, of the other side. So, also, so, you say, now, so you're saying Jaron, Jaron and Zama playing Saturday and Sunday? I'm putting my head on our block. Jaron going to score somewhere on Saturday and Sunday. Put my no. head on our block. No, what I say is Jaron going to be playing Saturday. Yeah, you say he playing Saturday and Sunday, right? Yeah, he playing, he playing. Sure, he playing. Right, right, right. Cause I know. Sure. Right. Anyhow, we go wait and see. But um, Jaron is a very good batsman. I know Jaron personally. Yeah, a good batsman. There, so teams who play against Skillful have to get this guy out early as well. Yeah, but, but um, um, we all know Lorenzo. You know, uh, as I see. I think, you know, one of the danger man button is in the reverse side is Lorenzo. You know, again, again, skillful. He got some runs. I believe he got like a, a 20, 50 yard, you know. He was brilliantly out by, 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 by myself, you know. He didn't get to really showcase his talent, his, his prowess more. But um, he's one of the danger man. And also, look, the non he was among the runs as well. He managed to Abdul. He hit the ball a long, long way. So, I believe if, if these guys get these guys early, then it could be a different ball game. However, Riverside having won that game against Skillful, I think they would be the, the happier the camp. You know, if this is just a, this is just a, this is just something I want to say. Right? If Riverside was playing against any other team, I would have said Riverside for the win. However, they're playing against Skillful, so I can't go against them. So I had to say Skillful to win. Right, just my make that yeah. note. Make that note. I mean, make skillful, that skillful, skillful is um, they did they, they, they just perform well on Glory Road ground. Uh, the first time they played there, they make 195. Um, they played there recently against Liberville and they made 150 or I believe or somewhere around this 160 mm -hmm. or something, yeah, 160 or something. Um, and then uh, I say, look like they're making runs on, uh, on the ground. So it's just the bowling. The bowling had to, to, to kind of keep the rungs down or something, or the batsman had to just continue going and try and chase it down. But interesting, interesting stuff with Jaron coming back to strengthen up, skillful. And as I say, we know the bowling, we know what Riverside are going to come with. Dinesh. Balcaran and these guys and Lyndon and if um, Lorenzo is there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skillful. Good one. I hope it, let me just see if Skillful could get a first victory. I don't know what I think. What do you guys think? Was Skillful get their first victory on Sunday versus Riverside? We could create a little pool here. Everybody who watching and in the comments. Let me see who is Wallace. A little, a little careful, pool. careful. You come back on Tuesday and you see, mm -hmm. wow, two from two for skillful. Careful, careful. That, that, that's that's the good thing. Let's see. Careful. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Rishma said never. Saturday and Sunday. Look at my back in all for Saturday and Sunday. And Cleveland okay. also said Saturday and Sunday. So you look like skillful want to go two for two this weekend, boy. Yeah, we, we had a, you know, see how it goes. 
interesting stuff, but anyhow, maybe we can move on to the last game here while people still comment. We have a poll running. The question is, and you know, what is how would it be on the TV6 show? The people meter, mm. and there's a people meter question, and then show the results at the end of the thing. The people meter question. I don't know why, I don't know why, I don't know why Latchman Suku against us can have a tree. I don't know if there's some personal reason. I, I don't know, I don't know. I, he kept, he keep on telling me no thing. Oh gosh, give you a chance. We level a little bit too, yeah, we level a little bit too. I think, I think still, but it's a likable team, you know, I don't, I don't understand how or they do like us, you know? Yeah, so... But as as I say, the people matter, the people meet a question for the day is will skillful get their first victory this weekend. Go ahead, let me see. Anyhow, last game, the Burville versus Mary Boys, a repeat of the pretty over game that was played on Monday. Right? We know Mary Boys want to beat the Burville again, and the Burville are going and take that easy, that, that lost day, and they want to come back hard. Right, so I don't know about will me personally tell you about will have some work to do, homework to do if they want to probably try and beat Mary Boys. But we have to have a game plan for them hard hitters, Mary Boys have. Yeah, the, the wicket and Mary Boys up in because really, um, it wasn't doing too much for the bowlers, you know, the assistance of the bowlers, it wasn't really doing too much, so button was comfortable. So probably if the button, I mean, 180 in a 20 over game probably is what they need to score if whoever is batting first, I think. 180 in a 20 over game. Uh, that game played on Sunday, you know, but a 26 over game. And the side made 120, the batting first made 186. Um, and, 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 and Mary Boy, she sat down in, in 21.5 overs. I just say that the team batting first, be dependent uh, because of the wicket and the ground, and you know, 180 is a pass score in 20 over. And I think that's whoever batting for is I would have should be mad. Um, but what do you think? What do you think? Before I share my, my rest of my thoughts, there, yeah, as I say, the Vavel, my boys, repeat of the final game in the two overs where the Vavel basically had their hands on the title you know the ball was in their court to finish ahead of the rest ahead of yep. the pack be the yep. alpha on 21 points unfortunately that wasn't the case my boys poorly party but yep. again 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 my boys on the upward chain you know these guys don't know how to lose these guys yeah. just found i think they found the the how to put it they found the solution or they found the way and they're sticking with that way and it's working for them. You know, whatever they're doing, whatever they're saying, I don't know, but it's working for them. And I think come Sunday, it will work for them again. I had to say, my boys would take this one. I, I had to see that based on, you know, guys stepping up. You know, we see in choice of guys jumping around, we see in, um, Kira, the bowling right up there. The wicket keeper, he's right up there as well. You know, he he brings that that energy within the team. You always hear him making noise, on and on and on. You, you don't know how to switch off that guy sometimes. He on and on and on and on. Mm. All going on the leg side. He appealing down and on and on. I don't know what it is with these wicket keepers and him. You know, so sometimes that is getting your head. You know, make the mistakes. You know. But um, like I say, Eckersville Ground, the last time they met, um, I believe was a, a 190 score or something like that. You know, um, so yeah, let's see how it goes. But um, I had a game, my boys, you guys on this one. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's going to, it's going to be a good fight to beat my boys on, on that ground because as I see the, the kind of batsmen they have, they adapt to that kind of ground. Um, so that kind of wicked, um, better, um, but things could be different. Um, Matthew 
Maharaj, um, he didn't really get off um, on the day. Um, Chase, he and Chase opened the baton and both of them were dismissed cheaply. Matthew was run out, so I know he would he would probably want to come and redeem himself because he's a very good batsman, young, young, young guy, um, very good batsman there. Chase didn't get off. You know, Chase got bat, Chase got hit the ball, Ricardo Chase, that is. Um, and then Marius, who has been in some, you know, the most consistent batsman there, yeah, Marius has got his, uh, there. Yeah. So, I mean, if Liverpool batting could click, um, well, not really click, but if the guys could get off that better start, you never know what could happen. Um, but I see Mary Boys didn't really have much wrong that particular day, you know, everybody played well, fielded well, bowled, everything, so it's Liverpool to step up, to to, 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 to have a chance of winning that game, and um, uh, if Murray Boys continue to play the way they, they're playing, uh, it could be a close, it might even be a close game if they continue to play. Yeah, so good night, Karen, so sorry for being late, it's all right, better late than ever, man, you know the weather, how it is, and so forth, so cracking game again Sunday. Weather permitting, cracking game with Green and B. You understand? Whoever win that game could go top of the table because there are two teams who have won their first two games. Um, so, uh, we see what goes. One of those teams would remain unbeaten, probably. You never know because Saturday, we see how Saturday goes, but uh, you know. Probably after this weekend, one of those teams could be four out of four. So, um, we can see, man. We can see how it goes. Anybody? Anybody thoughts on that particular game? Turn the eyes. So, in the meantime, be uh, in the comments. I saw predictions from three people. We have complete three predictions from three people. Well, that's not including you, Ramos. We had Priya, Ramrup. No, but no, but no, but you are saying uh, yeah, right. You don't mind just to see how I do. I, I know I don't. Wanna, I don't know win anything, but I mean, yeah, want to see what boy do. Anyhow, I give my prediction. I give my prediction. I will okay, do. Write it down, Anna, because I will change it after you know. No, no, no. As, let, me, let me get it in the exact order of the winning teams, right? Let me, as let me get it. First get Saturday. Yeah. Saturday, right? Let's call any winning teams, right? All right, then. All right, then. Saturday, St. John Maples. Mm-hmm. Saturday, Skillful. Right. Saturday, Merry Boys. Right. And Saturday, Oxford. Right. And Sunday, mm -hmm. Oxford. Yeah. Sunday, Newlands. Right. Sunday, Skillful. Right. And Sunday, my boys. I wouldn't okay. forget my predictions, bro. Very good. As Cleveland say, most of Ramos predictions are the opposite. So teams, if you call your name, oh God, I'm sorry. <laughs> apologize. You want to apologize to them from now? Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. Do, 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 do. Just do take it on. Do take it on. Do take it on. It may cause all the to, to lose the prize, whatever the case may be. I don't know. But it is what it is. Anyhow, anyhow, we have three predictions. Three people predicting beside Ramos. Priya Ram Rope. Um, Dylan. Um, brother, and then Avinash Ramrup, right? So we has we have those three participants. We have all their predictions right on for Saturday and Sunday. And come Tuesday, we would see who came out the best and who probably would be taking the prize, or if we have a little tie or whatever, and they. And both of them did well. You're gonna get the price so easy, yeah? Nah, you have to get you have to get at least seventy five percent correct. At least, at least. To get you know to qualify for the price. Now man can't be getting three and four out of the eight and one to say nah what price. 
Got to come good. Oh, yeah. Pray for some good weather. We know the adverse weather alert is still in effect until tomorrow. But we're hoping for some sun. And we're hoping each ground them dry up for cricket weekend. We want to play on a light cricket. On a light on you know, and I must come with something lighter. Let me, let me right. hear your combo story or some kind of thing. I Did you know? know. Did you know? Did you know that Carl Turnbull, right? Did you know that Carl Turnbull has zero hundreds in test match, right? Zero hundreds in ODI. Zero hundreds in T20. So right? Aided by, aided by zero fifties in ODIs and T20s. So what was an interesting stat? What is an interesting stat? Is that in his fullest class T20 career, right? His high score is the same high score as you in the whole tournament. That is what, because I had to compare it to the overs, to the T20, because I've not seen Carlton playing to the over cricket. So I had to compare the high score to yours. It is the same high score. You guys are the same. Let us be real. Because, mm -hmm. because, all I thought, all I thought, all I thought, because when I look for Carlton Ball bowling figures, currently, Carlton Ball has no wickets and no form of the game. You yourself does not bowl. You have the same high score. So how can it not be the comparison? That This is the comparison. I just this bowl. I just said bowl. I have bowl in this tournament. But I just bowl. When I, I have, when I, I have, when I I have wickets in previous tournaments. When so I went on the cricket. If you're, checking, if you're checking my stats, if you're checking my stats, like how you check Carlton Ball over, Carlton Ball wasn't over one season, that stats you check was over years, and? Correct. Uh, Correct. Uh, if, if you check my stats, I have wickets under my belt from last year and year before, and how much years before. You know, I have hundreds under my belt. I have fifties under my belt. So what are you really trying to say? What is your real so point? Say, say, China say, China plus, say. plus, I have catches, I have stompings, I have, I have run out. Yeah. Yeah. I have stats in all, in all the categories. So do this Carlton Ball thing come up? Call me, you can call me Devon Thomas. Because Devon, because Devon Thomas is an all-rounder too. He just bowl too now, boy. Mm -hmm. You understand? I prefer to be called Devon Thomas than Carl Tambo. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, well, we, we, you still, you still, you know, Carl Tambo is in my book, but we see how it goes. We see how it goes. I just trying to, I just thought that, you know, it probably had a little comparison there. We see how it goes. No, 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 no. I think it's just like what Cleveland say. Your stats and thing, however, is just the total opposite, boy. Your predictions and stats are just the total opposite. We should call you, we'll rename you. Your name is not Ramos. You just opposite. Mm -hmm. Change your name. Just, just a question, right? Just, just a simple question, right? Um, they're bowling, right? Right? Because. I know you can tell me you can bowl spin, you can bowl pace, you can bowl medium pace, which I know, which I know you probably could do all factors. He might he spot not sure the place after the so it's technically even because you're laughing at you. You black me is it a blackmail or something? Hold on. Hold on. My question is, my question is, if you were to see you know, with a title in your bowling, whether or not it be a medium piece, a, a, a leg break bowler or break bowler, where is it, where, what would you say is your title? In in this minor league? Um, overall, overall, overall. If you were to say, hey, Mandra, hey, Mandra Agber is a bowler, he is bowling leg break or break medium piece, where, where would you say? Where would you say? Uh, I, I gotta go with him. I gotta go with medium piece, boy. All right, all right, all right. Anytime, anytime you are you are seeing leg break, you see that Carlton boys are leg break bowler. Then 
Esi, lopul na, lopul boi na, zimbac si a simbola dog, si de ce ai nimeni boi? Yeah, yeah. Doi sa run in with the hair, with the, with the breeze blowing through my hair and thing and push through some deliveries, man, swinging the ball. Nice man, nice. Right, well, well, we'll see how it goes because I'll keep coming at you every, 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 every um, episode. I'll yeah. come at you until you, until you finally, you know. Mm-hmm. They don't check me, people. You want, to, you want to come Saturday or kind of thing because he's mm-hmm. my laugh. I don't tell you, oh, you want to pull rank on him, man. I can't pull rank. I don't believe I'm pulling rank on me. Cleave on telling me when I can play. So, that was talking I don't about. Know. Yeah. But yeah, it's... It was nice. Uh, 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 like I said before, I really hope that you were out for both days so we could see full views of the Yeah, yeah, come yeah. on. So, Ramos has bull lollipops. Oh, oh. Nazem back to us somewhere? Oxford? Nazem back. They were your yeah, partner from Oxford, man. I had Oxford reeling, I get a chance early, early, early. Bowling medium pace to it. I say, yeah, I'm going to be bowling no spin down there. I bowl medium pace and I'm looking good like mm-hmm. any other medium pace. I get a chance early, gay. Um, this next one I early. I was looking really good, some bonkers, the men shoot and thing, and they couldn't touch it on a human. But they go talk that. They, go, they only talk about the lollipop. The one spin ball, I bowl and I get for six, they go talk about that. But they go so talk about the medium pace, the man shoot on it. So when you, uh, start uh, off, uh, you, you start off wool and spin, you get some, you get some no, stick and you change. No, no, listen, listen, listen. Let me justify my reason why I change, right? Yes, I realize yeah. that the grounds are on the smaller side and with cricket comes adaptability, right? Just like how Sunil Narayan had to change the action and had to adapt his action, same way Dwayne Bravo started off as test match and had to adapt his, his whole his whole attitude and his whole run up and his how he bowls and stuff like that. It's all about adaptability. And if medium oh, pace yeah. is being adapting to the conditions, I will bowl medium pace and look good. Cause I did look good. You understand? If it's go and check the stats, bowling four of us, three for twenty, nine somebody. That is excellent stats against Oxford. Come on, come on. Check the cricket for apps and a line. Check the check it. Check the scorebook. Good, good, just, good, good bowling, man. Come on, come on. I just, just studied that. I just studied that. Just after the ball, it, 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 it came across. I started the ball spin, and you realize, wait, now the spin thing and working out. Same moment. You know, push you some medium PSP. Anyhow, by the way, see if it's pair hands in long on. How to be me? You are taking some brilliant catch down on the boundary. But come on, everybody know me as lollipop. But we'll continue. We'll see. We'll see. The opposite lollipop. That should be a nickname. Opposite lollipop. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow. Anyhow. Hold on. Anyhow. That's not. Le- I, I need to adjust this. Number I'm eight batsman made 80. Number eight batsman made 80. I was. I fully agree. Right. But when he made that 80. Right. Was I on the ball? Did I bowl to the number eight batsman? I did not. Because I bowled out. Unfortunately, he got. He got a lot of. Very good delivery. He put way in the back end, and he did. Cause kudos to him. But you can't tell my ball and lollipop when I had a little shoot, man. Oh god! So do my that, now, man. Man, you live in himself. People, the people, the man, you live in himself. Let me see it for a weekend and see what you do. All the ease him up. Right now, your pressure looking like a reason. Ease him up. Yeah. I don't take my pressure at tablet, but I let reason my pressure. Yeah, Sky yeah, high yeah. right now. Right. <laughs> Yeah, even you will partner Clevo not for nothing. Anyhow, we can leave that. Yes, right? Before yeah, we done with that. Before I go, what do you think about Seymour as a nickname? As, as a middle name. We where's your thoughts on Seymour? Seymour. Yeah. S E Y M O U R. Where's your thoughts on that as a as a middle name? As a very like weird. That, yeah, like yeah. that middle name. Where then I good with it? It's unique, it's unique. It's nice, and eh? it's all right. See more. It's not really grab me yet. All right, all right. I thought yeah, it might have yeah. seen that that is Carlton Boy's middle name. 
میگه نه اینترگرام سی اینترگرام یه کیا کیش میگه داد اینترگرام می اتلاع به تیک کمی ده ون تو ماست زمان تیم فکر کرد که آدم باتیم نه وای نه که سامدیم دیفرن نه وای یه لحظه ما سین اینیو ام اوا میتونم تو رانوف تو پیپل سو اینیو ایت واز نایس بینی تانس ری بایی فستی نون دو فکر اکسفورد ام فون اند فامیلی دی اون فارس دی ایری بودی اینویتد درینکس ایتس موسیق فون گلو گوت اند سپورت Uh, secondly, they found the Oxford um, barbecue and, and, and raffle coming up to help them construct this ground is not only cooperation, so uh, again, support, patronize, and you know, we all here to help each other. And lastly, sponsors, running across, Heroes Pharmacies, the Sunnis Passage Supermarket, Worldwide Inspection and Technology Limited, and last but not least, our very good sponsor and friends, Massey Foundation. Good. So it was nice being here. All the keep dry, keep safe. See all the all enjoy the cricket weekend. Fingers crossed for some sun, and we can see all the Tuesday. Yeah, man. Right. Ooh, so yeah. loving the house. Mm -hmm. All the keep good. <laughs>